up everybody how y'all doing out there this morning man <clears throat> still here on home time i'm not leaving back out until monday sometime but um right now i'm on my way to um on my way to to the shop over here where my truck is and got my morning coffee going here i'm on my way over here to the shop where my truck is um I had to, um, when I, when I got home here, I dropped my truck off over there at the shop. Um, I got a grease job done. I, I want to keep my truck greased up every, um, anywhere, anywhere from 10 to 12,000 miles. I want to get a grease job done to it or whatever. So I got my truck greased up. Um, and also I had to, um, I was fucking around with my truck, man. Actually, the day the day I had um, dropped it off at the at the shop, and I threw a um, a circuit. Um, I fucked around. I was messing around in my fuse box and messing with one of the fuses. And as I was messing around with one of the fuses. It made my engine brake light come on, my ABS tractor light, and my um, my trailer ABS light. And also, it had to where I didn't have no engine brake at all. <laughs> so I had to get that attended to, because you guys know when you out here over these roads, man. Back in the days, they didn't have no engine brake, but the way, you know, we, we say modern technology, modern technology you need that engine brake man especially going down these these crazy ass terrains and hills and slopes and all that crap you, that engine brake comes in handy and I'm the type of person I use my engine brake for shit for damn near everything I, I try to I try to use my foot brake as, as less as possible you know what I mean but um, I also had to get this um this tube um put on my tractor. This tube that's is going around the it goes around the the compressor. It goes from the it connects from the engine block to the um to the um I forgot what it's called, but I'm gonna show you guys once I get over here where it's at, man. Um, to show you guys what's going on. Yeah, man. I'm gonna pick it up Monday. I'm I'm going over here right now to spray some engine. I mean, some some brake cleaner around the area where it was um where it had oil and all that crap build up on it. But um yeah, man. Um going over here. It's, 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 it's Saturday morning. This shop where I got my truck done at, where I get my work. This truck, I mean, this shop where I got my truck at, man, this is a perfect shop, man. And I like this shop. I learned about this shop, you know, just asking questions. And that's how I learned about this shop right here. And I can call these people here and they will answer my questions for me. And, you know, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a big shop or anything like that, but it's, it's, it's not a big shop, but it is a big shop. You know what I mean? You guys get what I'm get where I'm coming from. But yeah, man, um, that's where I'm heading to. I got some good, some, some, some major plans going on that's in the works, man, over the next couple of months. doing for the business i'm gonna say that man some major plans some major moves that i'm planning on doing yeah but um everything has been going good i'm gonna say that man a lot of people ask me about making trucking videos and stuff i don't i don't do that anymore man i talk about my truck but far as making videos in the truck now i'm I'm off that man. Yeah, you won't 
you won't see me making another video in, in my truck at all. I talk about my truck, but you won't see me make no video in my truck. Reason being, because that's just my preference. You know, you really won't see me too much talking about my truck. You know, besides some mechanical stuff that I'm getting done now, you know, but as far as that, man, I look at it like this. It's, it's, it's too many videos out here that, that, you know, it's too many guys that are out here that's on the YouTube or whatever. They make all these videos about trucking and I just feel as if I don't have to do that. So that's just my preference and I'm gonna just stick to that. But um, I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, y'all see that red engine? Yeah, big boy comments. But um, let me show you what I had to get done get this hose this tube right here y'all see this right here that is the tube i had to um get replaced right there it goes to um it's this filter that's inside right there it connects to that it goes all the way around on the back side of the compressor all the way down there to the um to the engine block but um yeah man i got me a grease job done Got me a grease job. Y'all see all that grease and stuff. But um, right now, I'm about to get this, all this oil residue and all that crap done. Knocked out with some, um, you know, engine brake cleaner. But yeah, man, uh, y'all see. Got to keep the old, whole money-making green machine up at tip-top condition. And also, the lights that I use. Let me show you something, guys. You can put this on your truck too. I got HID lights on my truck, man. Y'all see that? That's the HID battery box right there. Got HIDs, man. But um, right now I'm about to get this on. Um, like I said, get this on. Um, you know, I got the oil. I mean, the grease and all that crap done on the fifth wheel. Another thing that I'm going to get replaced on my tractor, too, that I'm going to show you guys. Y'all see these airbags? These cab airbags? Well, inside of these, inside of this bag here is a shock. And the shock on this side right here, inside of this bag, is gone bad. You know, um, I'm a, if you guys do some research, if you got your own tractor, it's what they call, it's, they got a retrofit called Pro cap um pro cap um ride suspension that's what i'm about to put on my tractor man oh, gotta see y'all see that chrome that chrome all oh, that crap man yeah i keep my i try to keep the money making green machine running man in clean condition you know yep try to keep it in tip top condition man but um, as I said, I'm about to get this. Let me show you guys what I'm about to do. Just a second. All right, guys. This is what I just did. I cleaned up in that area right there. This area right here, you know, because like I said, I had a lot, a a lot of uh, excess oil. Um, and this brake cleaner stuff, it gets all that crap up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I did, but right now I'm about to install my high beam, my high beam, um, this is my high beam right there. I'm about to install my high beam HID set on my truck, man. Yep. What's up, everybody? But like I said, man, this is the shop where I get my, <clears throat> where I get my truck fixed on that. You know, they got one, two, three, four, five. They got five bays right here, and they got other stuff down in that area over there you know what i'm saying yeah i learned like i said i learned about this shop right here by asking questions guys you know what i'm saying asking questions and there's the green money making machine right there yep like i said i got all that stuff um that excess oil down there in the bay right there cleaned up you know like i said let me run over by you again what I got done. I had got this. I got that right there. That 
that tube replace it goes like i said it goes behind the compressor right here goes up it's some type of ventilation tube i know that yep mm. about to let me show you guys some this is how i keep keep up with my logs right here y'all see that that's the Ram McNally 765. That thing is amazing, man. It is amazing, guys. <clears throat> but yeah, I had, like I said, I had, they had um replaced, they had to do something in my fuse box right there. I was fucking around over there, didn't know what the fuck I was doing and messed up something and they had to fix it for me y'all see my engine brake light it wasn't doing that at first so they fixed that for me and they also let me show you something else that they replaced on my truck too man hold on had to um it's, it's this it's this part that goes behind this mirror right here y'all see that they, it's this part that goes in this mirror right here that they had to replace too they replaced that right there for me i had to get that done um it actually whenever i'm going down the road my this mirror right there that motherfucker be going haywire guys so they replaced that for me and this other part I got to get replaced inside of the door. Let me show you guys. Whenever I let my door, my window up, let me show you. Y'all see that? They got it. They're gonna. They already got the part for me, but they say they'll put it on next time I come home or whatever. Cause next time I come home, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be due for a, a another PM. That was the mileage on it when I uh, when I got my oil changed right there. Right now, I approximately have, hold on. You guys see, I approximately have 654,000 miles on it. That's a little over 10,000 miles ago when I had my oil changed. So I got about another 15,000 miles before I get it changed again. Yep. But um, yeah, man. But like I said, man, if you for 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 the guys that are out there that are looking to go that are fully um running under their own authority, I highly recommend this Ram McNally 765, man. But um, hey, man, um, this is enough of this video right here. I just want to give you guys a, um a, 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 a quite a little update on what's going on or whatever. But um, I catch you guys on the next one, man. You guys be safe out there.